excavating the burial sites of J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan and Lori Vallow's niece on the stand. I'm senior reporter Don Nelson outside the Ada County Courthouse in downtown Boise. Here's what happened today. The prosecution started the day asking FBI Special Agent Steve Daniels to describe the day he and others excavated the burial site of J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan on Chad Daybell's property in June of 2020. Special Agent Daniels testified that investigators slowly started peeling back the dirt. They first found rocks, wooden planks, and then plastic wrapping with the body. But as I made that cut, the the human hair that you can see on the top of that photo started coming out as I made that cut. And that's the point where we knew these are the human remains and these remains become J.J. Vallow's remains. And that's the point where we, this ends up becoming J.J. Vallow's uh, burial site. Prosecution then called Lori Vallow's niece, Melanie Palowski to the stand where she spoke of labeling people light and dark. When we talk about the light and dark, would you ask Lori to get the answers from Chad on that, if someone was light or dark? Yes. And did you learn whether or not Charles was designated as dark? Uh, yes. And was he designated as dark? I believe so, yes. Is Charles still alive? No. Is JJ still alive? No. Was Tylee labeled as dark? Yes. Is Tylee still alive? No. Melanie's husband, Ian, recorded several phone conversations with Chad and Lori. In one conversation, Melanie asks Chad and Lori about Rexburg being a place of safety. Here's how Chad answered. Yeah, but there's been lots of prophecies about major turmoil there. The plague's going to sweep through Rexburg. Civil unrest. I had a vision of Second East where McDonald's is and everything. Just chaos, people starving, fighting. Fremont County Prosecutor Lindsey Blake asked Ian about conversations about Chad labeling people light and dark. Did Chad and Lori ever talk to you or talk in front of you about people being light or dark? Yes. Do you recall specifically talk of law enforcement? Yes. What was shared with you in relation to law enforcement? That there were specific detectives that had been possessed um, I can't remember. There were a few different types of possession that they discussed, um, and I can't remember specifically what type of possession they classified. Defense attorney John Pryor asked Melanie about zombies and if all the information she learned about zombies came from Lori. Melanie said she assumed it came from Chad. Reporting outside the Ada County Courthouse in downtown Boise, I'm senior reporter Don Nelson, Idaho News 6.